What's up guys, super enjoying it, we're back at it again and um Unfortunately she didn't see the live stream towards the end we were trying to look myself, my brother and my cousin were trying to look at the live event but there was a glitch and we couldn't actually see it. Unlike most YouTubers um couldn't see my react my reaction but this gave me a good idea because obviously I'm just going to go through the event naturally so. so there are no more planes there are no more infinity blades it, this is just in the main game the infinity blades and planes will definitely appear in the swords thing jig and the and the air royale LTMs as well as a few others Bounce pad. I don't mind the drum gun, honestly. We can deal with it. it it's a really good gun. I actually got it first chest as well. New drum gun. But that must be what they mean with X marks the spot, though. When you mean X marks the spot, though, you, you really do mean that. Like, hopefully, like. If you didn't hear it to live stream, just watch if you want. It was just me playing Fortnite and there. Uh, oh, and you must watch my reaction to tell it's being destroyed. Because someone was going, I don't think you could have heard him because certain reasons, but it's going evacuate the squads, evacuate the squads, blah blah blah, blah that. And then my brother was screaming, Tell that's gone, da 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 da. That building that I'm looking at there is the only building that survived and it's from the Honda Shape. There's a giant crack in Polar Peak which I think is going to lead to the next live event. Which looking at it, it's really good. So yeah. Ooh, what else do we have? Retail Row, RIP Retail Row, that's a really OG spot. But I think with the destruction of those two areas, I think that now I think I have a lot more flexibility of how they can create new areas. I think by tomorrow, the Tilted Towers sign and the Retail Row area thing Jake, will probably be gone. So, by midnight in the United States area, wherever the whether the time zone is for the Epic Games, they'll stop. Add that or the next or what the next update will be the se new season update that will launch on nine a.m. So the next Thursday. So yeah. But all I will say is B I H Tilted Towers, which means burning how. And I'll repeat it. The volcano. X marks the spot. That could have been the distraction so players weren't getting too upset on certain places. Okay. Retail and salty, probably, yeah. So I think now the, the, next, the first hot place will be salty. And then it's Dusty Dewitt and Luke Lake. Luke Lake. And then all the rest speaks for itself. But yeah. I'm surprised everything inside that volcano actually survived as well. Including the fact because this is uh, this is basically the Fire King slash Prince's castle. So I am surprised that everything here survived. Including the dragon eggs. But wait. When this. What's this here? I don't know. I think that's what the Viking wanted to do. So. Instead of obviously. The wars. And all that. Yeah. Mm hmm. 
they teamed up. Once the volcano was there, they activated that. Yeah, anyways, we have now got next season to look forward to. I think by the time next season to you, yeah, Moot League will be completely covered up and probably return back to normal with the solo island or that'll probably stay the same though but that'll be a solo island with a house on it without the, the effect of the cube and yeah so so what's the pirate ship mean in this season it's the equivalent to Haunted Tales in Season 7 and Frosty Flights in Season... No, Frosty Flights in Season 7 and Haunted Tales in Season 6. It serves no purpose in this season, but just to add a new area in, as well as Sunny Steps. Sunny Steps, I can't expect the pirates to find the actual town. While the volcano actually had a purpose. I know the pirate ships are easy doing them. But they served no purpose this season. They might do next season. So I think so. At the moment. Loot Leaks has involved, involved with three major live events. One of them taken across. One of taken across two seasons. So. The Rocket Cube and Thing Jig event. The Volcano has done one event. Dusty Divot being one. How does I wouldn't say event. One. But Dusty Deeper slash Dusty Divot. In one kind of like event. When really. End of season three. It was Dusty. Beginning of season four. Dusty Divot. So. Yeah. Polo Peak one event with obviously last season with the and then the rest of the map well plus the ones I said one event or two retail and it also mean the one two I repeat to retail B I H two because obviously every party said the current scenario and tilted so that's one for tilted two for jig and then one for the rest of the map except one for dusty one for the volcano and then for the rest of the map it is one except the equipment in the survey so i don't mind the drum going honestly but yeah i think the plane would have been better I think it's just like six options the bouncers, drum gun, planes, infinity blade, I think the double barrel shotgun and bouncers. I say bouncers. Strung gun infin plane bouncers double barrel and I, th I think it was actually fine, you know. I think this time tomorrow the playground and critter will be back to normal and obviously LTMs will be back to normal so yes I guess next season they're going to stick with the Every everything except creator has been removed and but a new like one time LTM has been added called event at swimming. So for the first time it was showdown at Pleasant Park with the marshmallow event. 
that happened twice because some people couldn't have, couldn't view them the AM event oh, no the the British PM event due to their time zones so I think maybe Japan China couldn't I don't think yeah I think with Austra- most of Australia except Lachlan Jr and all that What you think's gonna be coming next season? My theory is well, I think Dusty Divot's gonna get involved with another like live event, and um, how say it? You're gonna be able to do some with Omega, right? So when you go to Tier One Hundred, you're gonna unlock a new style for Omega that will obviously like will probably we're gonna combine Season Four and Season Seven. So season seven where the C one hundred skins like the main focus. But we're gonna combine season four where it's like how was it? With Omega. So it's gonna get another form. And I think the same thing's probably gonna happen at Dusty Divot. But it's gonna be another selection of items. Although they're probably gonna be completely new, probably different like technology based weapons such as the bow you know like, I would like I uh, ammo like the bow so like it's infinite ammo so, and and maybe the Zapatron as well which was only in, like the game for five minutes before a new update came out which would be just the entire thing vaulted it the first vault in the entire game so I think that's going to be added plus an extra item, I think so. Yeah. I'm gonna end it off here because yeah, I need to get this uploaded. Feel free to check out my live stream. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the event because yeah, the glitch. But I think I think you're gonna are gonna con not confiscate that by probably maybe giving us a free battle pass or free tiers or free battle bundle in the next season or some XP so they're probably going to confiscate us with them items but not to the people who actually mind to view and choose the part of the event I don't mind the drum guns yeah this is super enjoying going dark good night